Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 10 of 1 Samuel chapter 15. Then the word of the Lord came to Samuel, saying, I regret that I have made Saul king, because he has turned back from following me and has not carried out my commands. And Samuel was furious and cried out to the Lord all night. Samuel got up early in the morning to meet Saul, and it was reported to Samuel, saying, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set up a monument for himself, then turned and proceeded on down to Gilgal. So Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said to him, Blessed are you of the Lord. I have carried out the command of the Lord. But Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of the sheep in my ears, and the bellowing of the oxen which I hear? Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and oxen to sacrifice to the Lord your God. But the rest we have completely destroyed. Then Samuel said to Saul, Stop, and let me inform you of what the Lord said to me last night. And he said to him, Speak. So Samuel said, Is it not true, though you were insignificant in your own eyes, that you became the head of the tribes of Israel? For the Lord anointed you as king over Israel. And the Lord sent you on a mission and said, Go and completely destroy the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are eliminated. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Instead, you loudly rushed upon the spoils and did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. Then Saul said to Samuel, I did obey the voice of the Lord, for I went on the mission on which the Lord sent me, and I have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and have completely destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took some of the spoils, sheep and oxen, the choicest of the things designated for destruction, to sacrifice to the Lord your God at Gilgal. Samuel said, Does the Lord have as much delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than a sacrifice, and to pay attention is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as reprehensible as the sin of divination, and insubordination is as reprehensible as false religion and idolatry. Since you have rejected the word of the Lord, He has also rejected you from being king. Nowadays, when we come across the word sacrifice, we probably think of giving up our time or resources, not killing an animal on an altar, watching its blood pour out and smelling its flesh burn, But in the Old Testament, that's what God required for the Israelites' atonement. Sacrifice provided a way to purify the spiritual stain of sin and restore a right relationship with God. You'd think the unpleasantness of burnt offerings would have made people hesitate before sinning so that they choose obedience instead. God had created a perfect world free of sin. But because of Adam and Eve's failure in Genesis chapter 3, Humans have always wrestled with temptation. Thankfully, the Lord provided a way for us to be right with Him through the gift of the sacrifice of His Son. Of course, our Heavenly Father would prefer we didn't sin in the first place, but He always forgives any of us who trust in Jesus Christ when we come before Him with a broken and contrite heart. He loves us and wants the best for us, which includes being spiritually healthy, free, and full of joy. In the 14th chapter of John, Jesus told the disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Let us love and trust God enough to obey Him, keeping our heart and conscience pure and our connection with Him strong.